Hey guys, this is Garbage Mule, and I will be showing you how to set up Mob Arena for Minecraft. Um, I realize that my instructions may be a little bit intimidating, they're quite long, but Mob Arena is really easy to set up. So just to drive that point home, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So first of all, download the plugin, put it into your plugins folder on your server, and then boot up your server. This is going to auto-generate the config file, which we'll be using to set up uh, classes and rewards and stuff. So let's try looking in the file. As you can see, it, it auto-generates some classes. Um, you can edit these however you want, add more, remove some. Uh, the items you specify with either the material types, as seen here, or with the data values. Uh, I probably I probably recommend the data values as they're less prone to error, but choose whichever you want. Uh, this section here, the waves, um, basically specifies how the mobs are distributed over the spawns. So, uh, for instance, this example here will spawn an equal amount of zombies, skeletons, spiders, and creepers. It will not spawn 10 every wave of every creature. Um, these are just distribution values. So if I put this down to 6, this to 4, and let's say creepers to 2, this means that generally we will have more zombies than skeletons, more skeletons than spiders, and we will have the fewest of creepers. Um, so again, these are not values, they're just distributions. So the, the config file is not auto-generated with any rewards, so I'll try to show you how to set those up. Um, we'll follow this format, because right now these are the only kinds of rewards you can get, the wave rewards. Basically, waves is separated into every and after branches. Every means that for every so many waves, you get a reward. Um, so let's say for every two waves, I want to reward either a feather say two bones or an arrow and this is going to happen every second wave or every other wave um, which means wave two wave four wave six etc uh, after means after wave three in this case we're going to be rewarded a iron shovel um, this is going to happen only after wave three and not at wave six like with every up here so these are two basic rewards uh, set up right now, so let's do all the setting up that we need to do inside of the game. So first of all, of course, we need to reload the server. So reload all the plugins, uh, and then let's boot up Minecraft. Nope. And let's just make this a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm typing. Right, so I have on my little server here already set up an arena, as you can see. Um, it's a very basic arena, uh, just a cube, really. Um, so there are three different things that you need to set up within the arena. Oh, it's an arrow. Um, basically, you need to set up the warp points. You need to set up the region, and you need to set up the spawn points. So let's start out by setting, let's start out with the region. So the region is set up like this, set region, and then you have P1 and P2, basically the two corners of your, uh, of your region. Inside of the region, blocks will not be destroyed. Uh, by creepers and players. Um, so it's a good thing to set these up. Uh, so that's the two points set. Now we want to expand the region. Expand region. And we want to expand it up by 10 blocks because otherwise it's just covering the floor. We also want to expand down by, let's say, 3. And finally, we need to expand out, because right now it's only covering a little small portion 
of this inside of the arena. We want to expand outwards too, which means in every other direction than up and down. So expand region out, and let's just put 12. Right, so that's that setup. Now we need to set up the spawn points, which just go wherever you want your mobs to spawn. Type uh, add spawn, and the name, let's call this S1 for spawn one. And add spawn S2. And you can add as many spawn points as you want. You can have just one spawn point if you want. That's perfectly fine. Add spawn S3. I'm just going to set up the final spawn point. And then we have one final thing to do. Add spawn S4. And we need to set up all the warps. First of all, you have the arena floor warp, where uh, your players are going to start out when they start in the arena. So set warp arena. And that's that done. Now we need to set up the spectator warp, which is here, in mine anyway. So set warp spectator. This is where your players are going to go when they die, uh, or if they want to just spectate a, a running arena session. So finally, the last thing is the lobby which I've set up a lobby here, uh, so let's go ahead and say set warp lobby, and that's it. Um, of course you need to set up the lobby with all the class signs that you need. Um, so here are all the classes, and you punch these signs to assign yourself a class, and you punch this iron block to signal that you are ready. So let's just try this out. Gonna drop this. You can only join the arena if you have an empty inventory. So let's just say MA join. And you have joined the arena. Have fun. Let's go. Let's play. I don't know. I want to play a knight. So obviously I'm not ready yet because I need to equip my armor. This may be automated in a future release, but I'm gonna hit the ready block, and because I'm the only player on the server right now and in this session I'm going to be warped straight to the arena floor. So I've been flagged as ready and the slaughter has begun. So here's the first wave. As you can see I get two, one skeleton and a zombie. So I'm going to kill those and I'm just going to show you the rewards and how they work. I'm going to die in a little bit so let's see. Wave 2. You just earned a reward, Bone 2. So that's one of the items that I specified in the every reward. So it's just going to pick one of those items at random, and if you only specify one thing, then you're only going to get that one thing. You, you know what you're going to get. See, I got the Iron Shovel. And then in Wave 4, I should get another kind of reward. Wave 4 is also going to be a special wave. Damn it, creeper. Alright, so special wave. Oh, okay. Here we go. Powered creepers. Yeah, and as you can see, I got a feather this time. So let me just try to die here. Bam. Alright, so I got these rewards. I got two bones and one feather, so that's how it works. And um, I'd like to thank Demonetix, I hope I'm saying that right, um, the guy who made the fight plugin. Um, Mob Arena is heavily inspired by fight, and uh, yeah. So if you have any questions, just send me a message and I'll try to answer them. If you have, notice any bugs, post it on the forums, and I'll try to see if I can fix them. So, yeah, have fun.